local, late breaking. This is Channel 2 Action News at 5 p.m. Coverage you can count on. Georgia's faith community is mourning the loss of a prominent evangelical pastor. He and his wife died in a fiery plane crash in the Bahamas. And Channel 2's Lori Geary joins us live from southwest Atlanta where she talked to members of the concerned black clergy. He inspired me to keep pushing and kind of motivate you. We caught up with youth advocate Orrin Hudson outside a meeting of the Concerned Black Clergy in Southwest Atlanta. He says he remembers hearing evangelist Miles Monroe speak just a few years ago at a power networking event here at home. Probably 100 speakers was at the power networking conference, but nobody brought it home to me like he did. Investigators say Dr. Monroe and his wife Ruth were on a private plane with seven others when it crashed while trying to land at the Grand Bahamas International Airport in Freeport for his Global Leadership Forum. Members of his congregation, Bahama Faith Ministries, were stunned and inconsolable. A spokeswoman for former Atlanta Mayor Andrew Young says he spoke at the conference in the Bahamas this morning and that he was not scheduled to be on board the plane despite sources who initially said otherwise. Ambassador Young offered condolences to the Monroe family and expressed deep sadness over the tragic death of his friends. Yeah, we grieve. Pastor Frederick Caldwell of Grace Community Fellowship Church says he met Dr. Dr. Monroe almost 20 years ago. It was a tremendous shock, but yet we know that he was prepared. We know that he was ready, and yet we grieve. Caldwell says Dr. Monroe inspired him and other ministers to find their true passion and purpose. Many pastors, uh, and I can name several here in Atlanta and around, who have been blessed by this man's life. Uh, it's a loss that will... Um, will really be felt and reverberated around the whole body of Christ, and it's a major impact. Organizers of Dr. Monroe's leadership event in the Bahamas say it will go on because that's what he would have wanted. So far, there has been no explanation or cause of what caused the deadly plane crash. Reporting live from Southwest Atlanta, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News.